Ever since the Industrial Revolution in the 19th century, there have been many people who made their mark on British railways. And now on YouTube, one rail enthusiast from the Staffordshire town of Rugeley, who is passionate about the trains and making his own mark on the railways too, give his own opinions about the railways today, the history and the future and gives you a behind the scenes of how to get to their destinations to do what I love best, build trains. Good morning and welcome to a new documentary. It is a bit windy so if you have trouble hearing me I do apologise. But we're at uh, Rouge and Trev Valley and it is about 20 past 7. Unfortunately today we're going on a few laps today. Um, after this weekend all services on London Midland between Crewe and London used to will change. There's a new timetable ready in place and we're going to be on the last 7.33 weekday service in London. Now before I tell anything about today's journey, there's something that I want to say, it's not railway, railway related, that I'd like to share. When I was there at school one day, I was at assembly in the morning and I was told, what's the most powerful weapon of the human body? The answer is the tongue. Not your fists, not your feet, not your whole body, just your tongue. Because it will cause words that can offend people which will start conflict and all that. As you all know, I had um, problems in a recent documentary at the Wadi Wadi Railway Show, I mentioned something, and it got out of hand, and once again, I'm sorry for that. But I'm sharing something with you here. The tongue is the most powerful, powerful thing of the human body. It might not be a big deal, but it's how you use it, with negativity and all that. It will get you into trouble. I'm not saying it's the tongue that's the excuse, it's, but just be, in future I think it's be careful what you think before you say. That's all i got to say. But um, I know it might come out wrong or it might, I might have said a few things wrong about it, but there's a simple message here. Think before you say, and that's something that I've learned. Think before you say it. There's a Voyager on its way down, you can hear that from here. And um, well, like I said, we're going down to London Euston today on the 0733 to um, Euston, getting for 946. We're actually 944, sorry, not 946. We're going around London, I don't know where the hell we're going in London. I'm going to go through a few places, tube bashing. Um, bashing on London Rail Networks. Don't know, I haven't decided yet what I'm doing in London. There's a few things that I like to do, but let's see what we've got time. We're not going back on the 1829 to here. This is the last time you're gonna see Big Rouge Trek Valley today. Because um, we're actually going back on the 1K39, 1843. It's gonna be the last time, well, hopefully the last time that the pretended Eno Mark III stock's gonna be in service today. I heard rumours that he might be doing a Liverpool Watford um, in a couple of weeks' time, but I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, what the pretended here is, it's basically a, a local hauled version service. You've got your know, Class 90, your Mark III coaches, slam door ones, and a DTV, basically. But it's how the railways used to be before the, pretend, before the Pendolinos and the Voyagers came along. So anyway, we go back to Birmingham on it, and then we go on a turbo star back to Rouge Town, which we'll end today. I hope you sit back and enjoy this. Thank you. On today's leg of this journey, there's a lot of lasts in this episode. We pay a visit to Big Ben, and we are riding on the last 1K39 to Birmingham New Street from London Euston. 
As you can see, the 733 lot deducers calling out Literal Trip Valley, Tamworth, Atherston, Nuneaton, Rugby, Northampton, which it won't be calling in the future, Milton Keynes, won't be calling Watford Junction in the future, and London Euston. These services cease to exist, so there's going to be a new path. 748 is going to be off trade in the future.
our destination. Victoria, as you can see there, and we're going to uh, Denmark Hill first destination. The reason of it is because there's a class 460, used to run the Gatwick Express to uh, Gatwick Airport, going through there. I don't know which one, I've just seen a report on it, it said it's passing through, so I'm going there to get it. As you can see now at Denmark Hill, waiting for the uh, Gatwick Express, well, X Gatwick Express 460. As you can see there, there's a 466 over there. I think it's a 460, no. 465. I'll correct myself in a minute. No, 465 is a southern, it's 456. 456, sorry, 456, just leaving now. And it's the last time you're going to see these at Denmark Hill because. Well, after today, they withdraw the southern London Victoria to bridge services via Denmark Hill and Peckham Rhine.
coming out of Blackfriars um, there's the underground um, we've lost the underground <laughs> it's a nice station um, Blackfriars Town Centre bus is the Nope, I think I've gone the wrong way. Hey. Hmm. Okay. Why not? You're this type of thing. There's Blackfriars Station just up there. Managed to find the underground now. He's on the other side of the bloody platform. Ah, I can't go that way, so I've got to take stairs. Just before we bought the uh, London Underground District Line, I just want to show you this side of London outside Blackfriars. See there, there's Cannon Street Station. So, Charing Cross site, Charing Cross. Got some nice buildings there, I think that's the. No, I think that's the Houses of Parliament, but it's fancy anyway. The London Eye and the River Thames. The River Thames, sorry. See, it's nice. Let's check across there, bus is just going over the bridge. And now it's back to our usual programme trains. Now we're underground, I think I've just missed a tube train. Oh no, other side. Go from there all the way down to Allgate East, the White Chapel.
Now back at Sawditch High Street. Bit of a climb. Um, I think we're to high speed we to next or something like that. We see some um, rare chief stock. That was on the old um, London line into Broad Street. Closed unfortunately. Just wait for a train now. I'm going to have to wait. Literally, I have it there. Yeah, that I'll say Pancras are then on the Metropolitan line or we'll around that way. Do you have the permission to take pictures? If not, can you stop taking pictures? Uh, no. Fucking jobs are up again. So let's do nothing wrong then. Michael Daniel to say to our face. I'll let's play the rules. See? <sighs> right, anyway, fuck up. Go back to Deep Met.
Right, we're out now at Handwell on the Great Western Main Line. Hopefully, we don't get interrupted like we did at Flint about Highly Lissington. Little SCC can't even face me these days, they have to hide, unfortunately. Shame. I was looking, well, I wasn't looking forward for a confrontation, but I've said I wasn't. But, um, unfortunately, there's no platform staff there, and they weren't mad enough to come down and deal with me, so I had to put it over the radio, which you heard. Anyway, we're here at Handwell, we'll deal with FCC later. And uh, we'll wait for something from South Hall. All I know is it's 10 early left. It could be on its way down to here, I don't even know what it is, but it's going to the Greenford branch, coming back down off the Greenford branch. So we'll just wait for it now.
Now on um, platform two at Euston, as you can see, the potential dealer is in. 1K39 this will be, 1843 to crew by Bergen Dew Street. We're going to go to the first Bergen Dew Street on this service. Which we're not getting today. Usually we're on that 1829, but not today. Coaches, old fashioned version trains. Unlike um, the MUs, these are slam doors. Basically, just go down the front to get a few photos of the 90 in. Should be 9044. Then jump on board, get the seat, have something to eat. We've got the Burger King here. And that's it really.
first class. It's first class. Uh, I've got to the uh, deducer, went to Denmark Hill to get the Garrick Express 460. It was 001 by the way. Went for a uh, Stuart's Day to Ashford. So I'm knackered. <laughs> Travel to well, I left CC to Blackfriars, had a good view from there, Blackfriars Bridge and all that. Then went to the East London line, got a few things there, got some bear uh, bread chew stock. Basically they're hanging on the um part that um, the line to Broad Street used to go. Um what else? Got jobs worth at Hybrid and Islington. Unfortunately, FCC don't learn the rules. Never have, never will. And to be honest, would there be a return to Hybrid and Islington? I would more gate. I might not back, I might not. Depends really. But no, they had no right. Basically, to tell me over the radio, they wanted me to stop. Should have just come off and told me. How fucking rude of them. FCC are the worst trade operator ever, to be honest. I am slagging them off, and it's true, unfortunately. Um, went down to the Met, put a more parking back, um, went to Raiders Lane. Went to Handwell. Went to Handwell to get a spider through, which turned out to be two steel locos. I was quite surprised it was two steel locos. I thought it was just a diesel or one loco, but two. Um, then went to Greenford, went to the central line down, stopped off to see Big Ben. That's it really. Got, but the biggest part of the video was the 1K39. It's the reason I wanted to go down to London anyway to ride it. I uh, rode it to Birmingham and that's it really. Um, I do have a Facebook and a Twitter account. If you want to, you can subscribe. If you don't, you don't have to. And thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in another one. Good night.